cuties, this is Sam from Instant Beauty. Uh, right now I'm actually just at home and I felt like filming a video. So my dog is uh, sitting right there and I have a feeling he's going to be annoying because it's, uh, it's been a while since I've filmed at home and I don't think he's used to it. But anyways, uh, so today I just wanted to talk about my experience with eyelash extensions. So right now I'm wearing mascara. I'll zoom in a little, I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm wearing a little bit of mascara. Um, but uh, normally my eyelashes are okay. There's, you know, they're not super long or super thick um, or super thin or super short, but uh, I just felt like getting extensions because I wanted to try um, the look, see what it, what it felt like, what it looked like. I've never done it before, um, but I've always been interested. So I actually got a group on um, and, uh, and I got them done a couple weeks ago. So I don't have any on anymore because they didn't last very long. Now I know that they're not supposed to last more than uh, more than a few weeks without touch-ups, uh, but after about a week or so, um, they they started to like you know thin out, and I started getting gaps, and it looked really really silly. And I also wasn't crazy about the feel of them. You know, I I, I wasn't expecting to feel them, even though that sounds silly. And I'm in the extension business, so I should know that you should be able to feel extensions. But I just thought the eyelash extensions would feel a lot more no uh, natural. And honestly, the first night, it was really funny because I guess I sleep on my face and I went to go sleep on my pillow and I, and I kind of bounced back because my eyelash extensions were so stiff. Anyways, I'm not sure if it was a bad job or if it was just um, my experience, but I, I wasn't crazy about them. And I did what you shouldn't do and I picked them off. And then uh, I was left with a lot of bald spots. So um, my cousin Rachel actually told me the best thing to do is try castor oil. Uh, for for eyelash growth and uh, so we got some we got this one here uh, it's art naturals castor oil it's all organic and um, we got it from Amazon and it was about 15 bucks or so anyways so it's pretty early on I've only been using it for a few days and I actually have already have seen a lot of results so what I'm gonna do is um, use it for about two weeks and then film another video and let you guys know like the real results but uh, on this eye in particular, I had bald spots. Um, I had a big gap in between. And now I'm actually able to wear mascara and uh, have it not look so stupid. So I think it's already working. Um, I do notice that they've grown in a little bit more and grown thicker. So I'm actually quite happy with the results. So I'm looking forward to the two week mark where I can film another video and show you guys um, the real results. So all I do basically is I just, oh, like, this is a huge bottle. This will probably last me a year because you barely need anything. Um, I just was using a Q-tip and dipping it in and just kind of doing it like um, I was applying mascara. I don't know if that's the correct way, but I hope so. Um, seems to be working, so I'm just going to continue to do that. And then uh, I would do it before bed, so um, it would have a chance to soak through overnight. Uh, and as well, um, I was using it on my eyebrows, so my eyebrows are starting to really grow in, actually. I don't know if you can tell on camera, and I'm not going to zoom in because you guys don't need to see my hairy eyebrows. But um, I'm trying to change the shape, so I'm actually uh, really pleased with the fact that uh, it's making my hair grow super quickly. So, um, you know, so far pretty happy with it, but again, I will, uh, I will film another video for a recap. As well, um, I just want to mention that uh, surprisingly castor oil has like a gabillion benefits that I didn't know about. Um, it's good for your, for your hair growth, obviously, for eyelashes and eyebrows, as well as apparently just your scalp, um, like for, for hair growth. I've never tested it yet. Um, kind of nervous to put castor oil directly on my scalp, but I might give it a shot and I'll let you know if I do. Um, and also, it's really, really good for your skin, apparently, um, and to like, reduce stretch marks and stuff. So that's also really cool. Anyways, very, very pleased so far with castor oil. Um, but again, I will film another video and we'll see the results. Okay, guys, I'll let you go before my dogs interrupt us. Uh, <laughs> see you later. Bye.